This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control and today I want to talk about why poor people get bed bugs. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to my channel. So, this is a touchy subject. You know, a lot of people are like, what do you mean, poor people? What do you want to, you, you want to talk about class envy? You want to try to pit the classes against each other? What's going on? And that's not what this video is about. This video is about, uh, I'm just trying to point out what mistakes people make that cause them to get bed bugs. And the people that are most likely to make these mistakes are poor people. So you're driving down the road, you don't have a lot of money. Maybe you're living paycheck to paycheck. You're just trying to keep your family fed. You need a bed or you need a couch or a lazy boy recliner, something like that. Something comfortable that you can sit in or sleep on. And you see where someone is actually throwing away a bed or a mattress out on the side of the road <clears throat> you think wow that's really nice I could bring that home to my family we could get a good night's sleep we could we, we, we need a bed the bed I've got is all torn up it's got springs popping out the side whatever you know whatever reason you need a mattress and you can't afford to go to mattress warehouse or you know even Sam's Club or Costco or somewhere and get an actual brand new mattress so you take your truck, you back it up, you, you plop that thing up on the back of your truck and you take it with you home. And it had bed bugs on it. So you bring bed bugs into your house and the bed bugs hatch out, you know, whatever eggs or whatever that's on it hatch out, you start getting eaten up. Now you have to kill bed bugs. And it's horrible. And a lot of people end up keeping them for a very long time. You know, if you're poor, and you can't afford an exterminator. You can't afford even the pesticide. I mean, I've had people that have commented on my videos that say, is there anything cheaper? Because Crossfire is like $50. That's what I recommend people use to kill bed bugs. And they're like, that's really expensive. I can't afford that. Can't I use rubbing alcohol? Can't I use diatomaceous earth? This is why a lot of these scammy fads are, are even exist because people can't afford to get rid of bed bugs because they don't have a lot of money. All right, so this is the issue. This is one of the issues with bed bugs. This is what causes bed bugs to spread. All right, well, let's say you didn't, let's say, I mean, you're still poor. Let's just put you that, being in that category. You, you live in paycheck to paycheck, you don't have a lot of money. And you didn't pick up a couch. You didn't pick up a box spring. You didn't pick up, you know, a piece of furniture off the side of the road. How did you get bed bugs? You know, yeah, well, uh, your friends that came to visit dropped them off. You know, this is one of the problems we have with lower class, middle class, upper class, is the classes don't typically intermingle. People don't usually hang out with, with the cl different classes. They think they're above that. You know, middle class and upper class think they're somehow above hanging out with people that just don't make a lot of more money than they do. And so lower class typically can tend to hang out with other lower class people. And that ends up spreading bed bugs because just because you don't have them doesn't mean your friends don't have them. You know, maybe they're the ones that brought the bed into their house. Maybe they're the ones that brought the couch into their house. Maybe they're the ones that infested their house, and then they hang out with you, and they spread bed bugs to you. Or you bum a ride to work in a friend's car. Or uh, you give them a ride to work. And these are the things that will cause the bed bugs to spread amongst those people. So the classes do typically keep bugs amongst themselves. So, like, you've got lower-class people they'll usually have bed bugs. Uh, not always, you know, they don't always have bed bugs, but they are the most common. They're the most common people to get bed bugs now because bed bugs are primarily spread from person to person. Now, back maybe 20 years ago, the most common place to get bed bugs were hotels. Then you would have to worry about more, uh, just pretty much everybody would get them because the hotels, it didn't matter if it was upper class hotels, didn't matter if it was lower class hotels, cheap hotels, motels, whatever. 
they all got bed bugs. And so bed bugs were spread by everybody. And that can still happen today. People can still get bed bugs from hotel chains. But the most common way that people get bed bugs are from picking up furniture off the side of the road, from visiting people who have bed bugs. This is the way you get bed bugs. It's the primary way they're spread is from person to person, not from place to place like it used to be. So understand that this is one of the problems and this is why I'm making this video. I'm trying to help you understand so that you don't get bed bugs, so that you can keep bed bugs away, no matter what kind of amount of money or whatever that you make for a living, because let's admit it, let's, let's just face the facts here. If you're poor and you can't afford the furniture, you can't afford to, to waste money on spraying your house either. If you bring in a free couch off the side of the road, all right, it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. You just have to pick it up and take it home, all right? But that couch has bed bugs in it. Is it really free? Because now you've got to spend money and try to get rid of this problem. You've got to take your money that you didn't pay for the couch and put it into bug killer to kill the bugs that are living in your couch. And sometimes it takes several months of treatment. Maybe you infested your whole house now. During this time, trying to get rid of these bugs, the bugs are biting you. They're biting your children. They're biting your family members that come to visit. Maybe they're spreading to your family members when they come to visit. You know, we're coming up on the holiday season. We got Thanksgiving. We got Christmas. We just had Halloween. You know, people hang out with each other. Hanukkah, you know, they, they, they go to each other's house. They eat. They drink. They, they have a good time. They sit on their couch. They pick up bed bugs. So, you know, do you really want to be the person that spread bed bugs to your friends and your family? I don't think so. So if you see a couch sitting on the side of the road and it looks like somebody, you know, is getting rid of a really nice piece of furniture, understand that, you know, it's trash for a reason. Nobody goes to, you know, the furniture store and buys a brand new couch, keeps it for six to seven months and then takes it and puts it on the curb. Nobody does that unless there's a problem with it. Maybe it's broken. Probably got bugs inside it. I've stopped on the side of the road. I've looked at furniture people are throwing away. I have found bed bugs in furniture that people are throwing away on the curb. The polite thing to do would be to take a spray can and spray paint bugs on the side of your mattress or on the side of your couch or something. If you've got bed bugs in your couch or in your in your you know love seat or your uh, box spring or your mattress, you know, do the courteous thing. Let people know what they're pulling into their house because nobody intentionally gets bed bugs. A lot of people believe, you know, these landlords, property managers and stuff, they will blame the tenant. They will say, this is your fault. You wanted these things. You brought these things into our property. Nobody wants bed bugs. Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> you know, I don't know of any person that just jumps for joy, excitement over bed bugs. They're not a joy. They're not even, you know, a joy to have to try to get rid of. They're not fun to treat. They are very difficult to treat. They take a lot of hard work, a lot of man hours, a lot of labor, picking stuff up, flipping stuff over. It's a lot of work. If you watch some of my other videos where I actually go in and treat mattresses, I treat couches, I treat this, these pieces of furniture, and I show people how to do it, you know, you see it's a lot of work, you know, doing a bed bug job. And so understand that I'm just trying to help you. I want to look out for you. I don't want you to get bed bugs in your home. I don't want you to have problems with bed bugs. I don't care how much money you make. Nobody in the world needs bed bugs. So hopefully I've explained a couple of ways that you can avoid getting bed bugs, no matter what amount of money you make. Don't bring in used furniture. Don't bring in used appliances. Don't bring this stuff into your house. You can even get this stuff from thrift stores as well. You know, you go to like a Goodwill or a Salvation Army, places like this, they have them too in their furniture. If you go to a rent to own furniture place, don't buy the stuff that's on the showroom that has already been pre-owned. Don't buy that stuff. It's real common to get bed bugs in those pieces of furniture. I had a lady that had, uh, and this is, you know, going to the furniture store and just buying it, spending money. Yeah, you're not spending as much, but you know, you're still buying bed bugs. You know, they, they give you the bed bugs for free. It's like buy one, get one free. Buy your couch, get bed bugs for free. You know, 
this is a problem that comes from you know buying used furniture. So I had a lady one time, like I was saying, she had one of these motorized chairs. Her her husband had a stroke, and he couldn't walk. He could well, he could, but just not well. And so they bought one of these little motorized chairs that kind of stood up so he could get up out of the chair and walk across the room. All right. The chair was bought used from a rent-to-own furniture store, and it was loaded with bed bugs when they brought it in the house. So then they had to pay me to come in and kill the bed bugs. It would have been cheaper for them to just buy the chair right out, brand new, never been owned by anyone except them. You know they wouldn't bring bed bugs in because, well, it came from a warehouse where the bed bugs aren't, and you know that's that's way better than bringing bed bugs in your house on a piece of used furniture. So just understand this is one of the problems that comes from buying used furniture, from picking up furniture on the curb. Bed bugs are an epidemic. They're everywhere. Uh, you can get them from movie theaters. You can get them from public transit. You can get them from school buses. You can get them from just the schools itself. You can get them from anywhere people are. So lessen your chances of getting bed bugs by not buying used furniture and not getting furniture off the curb. So hopefully this has helped you. I want to help you. I want you to understand where bed bugs come from and why bed bugs plague poor people. It's really just a bad choice. I know that you need to sleep. I know that you need a piece of furniture. I know that you can't afford brand new stuff. But it would be better to save your money or get the furniture from a friend that you know doesn't have bed bugs. Let's say they're doing some spring cleaning. You know, we're coming up on springtime right around the corner. I mean, I know we got to go went through winter and everything, but spring is right around the corner. Maybe you can wait six or seven months and get a piece of furniture from someone who's tossing it out and you know they don't have bed bugs. I do this for people. I give people furniture. If I'm getting rid of a couch or you know something like a bed or something like that, I always offer it to someone that I know needs it. This way, you help them and they don't end up with a bug problem. You know, and we're not just, not just bed bugs. You can get cockroaches this way too. You can get cockroaches, you can get bed bugs, you can get fleas, you can bring spiders into your house, you can bring mice in your house by getting used furniture from somebody. I had a lady one time got a dresser from someone and there was a mouse nest in the dresser. She brought it in the house, opened the drawer, and a mouse jumped out of the dresser. So, you know, there's lots of things you can bring into your house by, you know, with used furniture. So, Hopefully this has helped you. I hope that it's helped you. I hope nobody's mad at me for you know talking about poor people. I'm not trying to downgrade anybody. I'm just trying to help you not make the mistakes that other people have made that I have seen made in this industry. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to my channel. And uh, don't forget, uh, if you join as a member, uh, you get this video early. So all of my members get my video as soon as it's edited. I put it up for members only. All members can see the video all the way up until the day before it's uh, broadcast live. The videos are released live every Tuesday. And so typically I try to get all these edited and up by Wednesday, the, the previous week. So that way YouTube can say, oh yeah, we, we like this video. We're going to let this video, because that's YouTube is rough. Uploading to YouTube is, is hard. <laughs> so, because um, a lot of times they will actually uh, lower the video and not allow people to watch it. So you got to pre, you got to upload it like a week in advance. And I just let all of my members have free access to the video early. So as long as you are a member, you get the video early. If you're not a member, you don't have to be a member. You can get the video live when it goes up every Tuesday. So hopefully this video has helped you. Don't forget, stop by on my live streams every Thursday night. I answer people's questions about bed bugs. I answer people's questions about cockroaches, silverfish, fleas, you know, whatever type of bugs you got in your house. I'll talk about it. And so uh, don't forget that's Thursday night after nine o'clock, uh, sometimes earlier. If I can get the kids in bed earlier, I do it earlier. Um, but most of the time it's after nine. And so uh, come by, talk to me. 
I've got a phone number you can call. It's a Skype number. It's not my business number, not the normal number I use during the day where I, you know, I, where I do business out of. It's actually a different phone number. But um, you can access me there. You can talk to me. You can ask me any questions that you got. You can help other people by asking your people. By asking your question online on my live streams, other people can hear it. Other people get the answer too, and it may help a lot of people because all of my live streams go up later so that everybody can still see them. I save all the VODs. Everybody gets access to them just like everyone gets access to this video. So hopefully this video has helped you. Uh, leave a comment below if you have any questions or anything like that, and I'll see you in the next one. Y'all have a real great day. I appreciate it wherever you are. I hope you're just enjoying life and keeping the bugs away. So y'all have a good one. We'll talk later.